You're listening to Ask When, the podcast. Folks from all walks of life talk about their daily hustle and bustle, living and celebrating life, sharing tips on becoming champions, especially for those who are muscling, mental, and physical disabilities. Ask When, the podcast, with your host, who has mustered over 30 years living with cerebral palsy and going strong author and cerebral palsy advocate when charles ask when the podcast starts right now welcome to ask when everyone today with me i have vlad and kevin so you guys get Two for the place of one on Ask When, and I'll be asking these guys baseline questions and letting them take it away. So I'm going to let you guys, Brad and Kevin, take it away. All right. Well, uh, I'm Brad. This is Kevin. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're talking about, but we're going to start from here. Uh, me and Kevin started a YouTube channel because we were bored and said that we could do that. And um, now we've got a podcast that's going fairly well now. And so did you um, guys want to do, well, obviously you wanted to do this, but is it something that you wanted to do as a kid or was it something more in adulthood that one day you just thought, okay, we're bored and let's entertain the public here? Well, I think it was, uh, well, first off, thanks for having us on. Um, but I, I think it was something that we were just kind of sitting around uh, a fire pit in the backyard going, we need to do something besides waste our lives away. And we we got to think and just kind of put our heads together and said you know we're we're funny when we're talking just us two uh little snide comments back and forth and stuff like that so we decided to turn it into a youtube channel and then distance became a factor so that kind of just converted into a podcast uh so that we could still work together remotely Uh uh-huh uh-huh so you uh you started it at um, as a YouTube channel now, um, do you think because of what's going on, do you think people are responding to both formats or one more than the other? I would say our YouTube channel is kind of put on the back burner. Uh, uh, we've been really hyper focused on the podcast, and we still upload. Like we set up a playlist. So all of our podcast episodes are still on YouTube, along with all of our other videos. They're just separated under the same channel. And I don't think we've uploaded since November for an actual like YouTube channel. Yeah, at least the Elk Hunt. When was that? October, November? October, November, sometime around then. A long yeah. time ago before this got nuts. Isn't that interesting? Because what I'm uh, what I'm coming to find out is I have a YouTube channel too, and my podcast automatically gets uploaded. My podcast host automatically uploads, and I, even though I do do video content for YouTube, I'm coming to find out that everyone's so crazy for content right now that they'll watch anything that they can get their hands on, even if it's a static image. Well, I read a, a, an article, I can't even remember who it was from to credit, uh, what was it, like eight years ago. And they were talking about how now we live in this world where entertainment is becoming gold. People are paying more and more for entertainment now than they ever have. And since I read that, it really kind of opened my eyes. And I've kind of been watching the entertainment industry, whether it be uh, music, movies, TV shows. Um, look at look at Netflix, for example. Hulu, Disney Plus just came out. And people are paying, what was it? Disney Plus sold like $80 billion in pre-sales the first day that they started. 
Yeah, it was it was nuts how much they sold in pre-sales just alone. And so, yeah, people are crazy for any type of content they can get their hands on, especially nowadays, because we have a bunch of people in shelter in place mode. Those who are following are doing a good job. Those who are not, shame on you, because, uh, yeah, because you all should be in shelter in place mode by now, but I know that uh, New York, New York is in shelter in place mode. Aspen, Colorado, where I'm at, is in shelter in place mode. Um, Illinois is in shelter in place mode. California is in shelter in place mode. Utah, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Although I think more and more people are becoming shelter in place, even though even though cities and towns are not. Um, implementing it, although the cities and towns that do implement it, good on to you. Good on to you, Aspen, Colorado finally had to implement shelter in place mode because things were getting insane up here. And so I have a couple questions for you guys. Describe your average day before all this happened. And Kevin, I'm gonna let you go first, and then I'm gonna let um, I'm going to let Kevin you go first. So, and then Brad, you go second. So at least my fan base can hear you guys loud and clear. All right, uh, day to day for me, I I still have a nine to five job, uh, seven to four, but. So I'm usually working uh, during the daytime. <laughs> Shut up, Brad. And uh, so I will take uh, mental breaks from uh, my regular job, which is permanent. Like I'm, I'm full-time remote. My office is out of, um, my headquarters is out of San Francisco and I'm in central Utah. But um, so I work there and then uh, Brad and I will brainstorm throughout the day and kind of think about what directions we want to take for uh, websites, podcasts. So we're looking to do sponsorships here soon, stuff like that. So my evening is typically consumed with that uh, podcasting business side for uh, roughly what, an hour, maybe two. And then the rest of the evening, we'll have dinner, uh, play some games with the kids, um, get the kids ready for bed, hopefully by eight. <laughs> Lately, it's been insane. Uh, schedules don't exist at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that schedules do not exist at the moment. Schedules do not exist. The schedule went out right out the door. When it's, I, yeah. It's so hard lately, too, because we've been doing the homeschooling thing. And my, oh, my- <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> My yes. son's in kindergarten, so he goes partly online. Part of it is paper, so we have to go into the school every Monday and drop off the paperwork that he did, pick up the new paper stuff, uh, whereas my daughter is full-time online, but she's using a completely different program with a whole different setup. So <laughs> it's- <laughs> oh, it's nuts. It's nuts. And, Brad, what about you? What's your average day? Oh, uh, my like? average day... Uh, before I before it. this well yes. before this uh, this gigantic issue um, <laughs> this is gigantic. so I, I, I also it. yeah I I have a nine to five job as well um, I I work as a sewer plant in, uh, operator um, so I am kind of a little more in the know about this stuff than everybody else mainly because the CDC, um, gives us daily updates. Um, and before this, um, I mean, I'd go to work, I spend 10 hours a day at work. So I only had to work four days. Um, and and same as Kevin, you know, I'd have to take mental breaks and then, uh, um, we, I'd get a random idea. He'd get an idea and we just kind of bounce it off each other for five or six minutes or a couple hours sometimes. Um, and then I'd come home, and uh, I'm 
I edit the videos. So I get home from work and I spend about an hour or two editing videos. Um, I listen to every podcast a couple of times, get some cut times and make it easier for myself when I do those cuts. Um, some, some of the videos are a little more difficult than others because they have a treasure trove of information and I have to, I, there was one, I think I picked like eight or nine different cuts and we went, yeah, we can't do that anymore. It's got to stay like at four. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. But now, um, now with this craziness, uh, we're looking to have 24 hour shifts. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's not it's, good. It's, it's not crazy. Good. People are freaking out. Um, but if I can say one thing, take it seriously, but don't freak out. And also, yeah. don't throw up wipes down your toilet. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. no, no. Even if I, they're flushable, they're not flushable. They're not, not flushable, you guys. I have I have to learn that the hard way. I um I have to learn that the hard way that those things are not flushable. And so please. Please, please, if you're, um, all kidding aside, the, um, people on the front lines right now, including sanitary workers, are my heels because, uh, they don't want to be dealing with this just as much as the public does. So, just be kind to one another. I mean... You, uh, people look at the doctors and nurses and then forget about you, um, Brad, and then forget about the sanitary workers who are working 24 hours to help combat this mess of what we got going on here worldwide. I mean, it's not funny. It's it's not, um, and the the crappy part is is um, if people don't take it seriously, um, it'll turn into an Italy or a China or a yes. New York issue yes. where every day you're going to have thousands of people testing yes. positive. But the yeah. other crappy part is, okay, awesome, you're feeling sick, but people aren't taking care of you, taking care of it. That's that's the biggest issue. It's easily beaten. If you take care of it, but people aren't. People aren't taking care of it. People aren't putting themselves in quarantine, number one. And even though a flu shot is optional, um, people are not putting themselves in quarantine. And we're going to begin Italy. Mark my words, you guys. We're going to begin Italy if we wa- if we don't watch out. And when I say we're going to become Italy, Italians are dying based off coronavirus. And day by day, Italians are dying. So be careful, you guys. Just be careful. And just wash your hands. And just don't do, just do shelter in place, Bond. Please, please, please. I'm asking you. I'm asking you as a woman with a physical disability, Vlad and Kevin are asking you because, especially Vlad, because he's on the front lines of it being a sanitation worker. And so you guys think before you speak to me or Vlad or Kevin because we want to help you guys and we're trying to be content creators here and if we go down because of uh, you know what, it's not going to be fun for you guys. So, yeah, that's my speech and that's well, Lynn, but I, if and Kevin, I'll ask you this now that Brad and I have spoke, Kevin, if a person was, if your best friend was going to write a book about you, what would the title be? Oh, uh, well, that's title? a good question. <laughs> yeah. What would I write that question on? Yep. 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 I think it would be something along the lines of my, bio- my biography on this idiot. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I love it. My biography on this, and I love it. No, I love it. I love it. And uh, so, and you guys, to each one of you, and Kevin, I'll ask you this question first, and then I'll ask Vlad this other question. Wait a minute, Vlad. You didn't answer what, if your best friend had to write a book about you, what would the title be? Oh, man. That is a great question. Um, oh, uh, don't follow my example 101. <laughs> don't follow your example 101. Love it. Love it. Don't follow my example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly. Well, Kevin, if you had to move, and then I'll be asking Brad the same question, if you had to move and could only take three things, what would they be? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, if I had to move and only take three things, are we talking like deserted island or just moving houses? Well, just talking... We're just talking moving house. Okay. Uh, probably I would take the internet with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I would take my family as much as I would drive me crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive me nuts by now, but that's okay. Um, and then I would say I would take probably my truck. Okay, so internet truck, and then um, your family. Well, that's that's a good one. And Vlad, what about you? Um, definitely, I take my wife. Um, definitely have to have the internet because we've got got to have the podcast going. Got to start making money. Um, and I take my gun safe because I can stack a lot of stuff in it. Yes. And if my wife's going anywhere, she ain't leaving the Subaru around. So I'll have transportation. <laughs> she ain't. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. She. Uh, yes. Yes, take internet, take um, internet with us. Yeah, I think I would probably take the internet with me too. But do you guys, as we wrap this interview up, do you guys have any questions for me? Then I'll ask where can people find you guys? Uh, um, what got you started into doing your podcast? What got me started into doing this sanity, um, insane podcast called Ask When? My, I wrote a book which could be found on Audible right now, you guys. I come a win, and Audible is actually giving you guys a discount due to you know what, what's going on right now because people are hungry for content, and so I wrote a book. My original book, which is almost 10 years old now. And so then I thought, well, how the heck am I going to market this thing? And so um, that's why I started my podcast. Makes sense. That's what? Awesome. why. Yeah. yeah. So why did you write a book? Why did I write a book? Because I wanted to show people the what it was like living with cerebral palsy, what it's still like living with cerebral palsy. And I just wanted to educa educate people. I just retired from the education field um, on March 13th. 2020, and I am still educating people what it's like living with a physical disability, a neurological disability, day to day, and so that's why I wrote the book. 
That makes sense too. I uh, I'm kind of doing the same thing on this journey that I'm on. I'm just journaling right now, but it'll be a book eventually. Well, yeah, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere, you guys. You gotta plunk it down on the computer. You gotta plunk it down in the journal. You gotta, um, yeah. So, and so, where can people find you guys? So we are working on having one central location once we get our DNS forwarded over from our other page. Um, all of our content is going to be at www.doublebcreates.com. Um, that'll have links to all of our podcasts, uh, our YouTube, our Instagram, Facebook, everything that you want. Yeah. So doublebcreates.com is where you can find these guys, Kevin and Brad. And I appreciate you guys coming on here this morning. And please, please, I repeat, everyone who's listening to this, I will sound like a broken record by the time we all get through this. But please heed the warnings. Please do it state by state as much as you can. Do it nationally. Do it. I'm sharing stuff from all across the country. I may be sharing stuff worldwide too now because um, please, 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 please just be kind and just be nice to everyone and please heed the warnings state by state because it's ugly. It's ugly out there and I, I, I don't I don't want to see any of my fan base get in trouble because they didn't heed the warnings state by state. So if you're listening to this on a Thursday morning, heed those warnings and just like your Facebook page, like um, like the Facebook page, nine times out of ten, these um, governments, these city governments, come on Facebook and explain what's going on. I know that my governor, governor of Colorado, does Facebook Lives all the time. So please, just heed the warnings. And please be nice to Brad, who's on the front lines. And be nice to Kevin, remotely, to you guys. Just be nice. And let's make this world a better place. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You just listened to Ask Win, the podcast. To become a guest in the show, visit our website at askwin.weebly.com or call 816-591-3399. Just look for Danielle. Connect with Win on Twitter at Win Kelly Charles. And like our Facebook page at Butterflies of Wisdom. You can also purchase Win's book through Amazon.com or get a copy of the audiobook through Audible. Ask Win, the podcast.